Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. This is lesson 3 of SQL Server tutorial for beginners. In the previous lesson we learned about creating databases uh, using uh, SQL Server Management Studio and today we are going to learn about creating uh, tables. So let's jump in into SQL Server Management Studio. So as you can see, we have uh, under the folder databases, database test one that we created in the previous lesson. And today for um, uh, learning purposes, we are going to create a new database. We are going to create the database um, HR human resources database. So create database HR. Okay, commands completed successfully, refresh, and we have the HR. Under HR, we can see we have the folder tables, but mm, there is no table created. To create table under HR, we can see we have the folder tables, but mm, there is no table created. To create table, uh, we can do it in two ways. The first way is graphically and the second one is uh, using queries. So let's go in graphically. You just have to go on new table. Okay, here we have to uh, decide about um, the columns, data types and the law nulls. If you are brand new to SQL Server, I would uh, suggest you should go on on the uh, read a little bit about uh, data types. Okay, let's go on. This is going to be our first table. That's going to be employee table. So employee table is going to have the first column, employee ID. That's going to be an integer of data type int and uh, will not allow nouns because each employee should have the employee ID. The second column is going to be first name. Uh, sorry, it's going to be first name. It's going to be a an avatar of data type 50. And we are not going to allow nouns because every employee should have a name and the last name. So the other column is going to be last name, not allow nouns, email. Also, we are not going to allow nouns because we want the person to have an email. Okay, we can put on phone number. It's going to be of type uh, varchar 15. Higher date, date, sorry. It's going to be a date time. And this is not going to be null. And uh, we are going to have the column department ID. And this is going to be an integer. And this is not going to allow nouns. Okay, we created these columns that uh, these are attributes that um, our table is going to be made of. Um, employee ID is a unique value that is going to identify each, uh, each employee, each column, each row of um, this uh, new table that we are creating. Um, okay, this is a primary key. So to create a primary key, we should click on with the right set primary key. As you can see, this is a symbol of the key, that, which means that this is a primary key. All values uh, of each row are going to be unique. Okay. We are going to make, uh, this is an integer, to make it incremental by default when we add a new, when we add new employees in the table, we should go here, identity, identity specification, double click, is identity? Yes. So identity increment, identity seed. So it's going to increment each time when we uh, add new employees in the table. Okay. And we are going to click on right here at the left properties and we are going to name uh, our table. This is going to be employee table. 
and under the schema DBO and the database name is HR, which means that uh, the table is part of DBO schema of this group of uh, tables. Um, if we hadn't specified uh, the name of the database, uh, it would uh, be by default uh, the one that uh, the query is under, identified here, as you can see, master. But we have uh, already specified the database name when we went on uh, to create the table here at this database. Um, so we specified uh, table name, employee, database name, HR, schema, schema name, DBO. Okay, we just... Uh, have to go and click save employee. Okay. Okay, let's just refresh the folder tables. Okay, as you can see, we have a primary key, first name, last name, email, phone, hard date, department ID. Okay, we are now going to create the second table. Now we are going to create a second table. We are going to create the second table using SQL query. First of all, we are going to write use HR. So the query is going to be under the database HR. Otherwise, uh, the, uh, the table were going to be created under master database, but we wanted to create under HR. So we use the keyword use and the name of the database when we want to use uh, this database or create object under the database that we want to use. So use HR. We are going to create a second table. And to do this, we use the create keyword as we learned in the previous lessons. Create table and the name of the table that we are going to create. We are going to create the, uh, the table department. Okay. And this department is going to have add column. And this department is going to have um, the name of the the name of the column that's going to be department ID part meant ID. The data type is going to be int not null. And it's going to be a primary key. Okay, you have to do it like this. Okay. And the second column is going to be department main name. It's going to be a varchar data type of 50 and it's going to be not null. This, is, uh, this table is going to be created under the DBO schema as well. So this is a syntax create table, the name of the table, then you have to uh, make this symbol and then uh, the name of the, the column. The first column is going to be department ID, int not null and is going to be a primary key with unique, unique values for each row of uh, this table. And we just go on and execute. So if you go on to tables, refresh, there we have our second table with these columns. And now we are going to learn about foreign keys. Um, we are going to learn how to add a foreign key in a table. A foreign key establishes the relationship between the two tables and enforces relational integrity in the SQL Server. So we are going to add the foreign key department ID in the employee table. So we can do it uh, on two ways. The first thing is um, graphically, we just have to go and, and uh, click on design. And then we can click here, relationships. We just go on add, foreign key employee. Okay, we should go here, tables and column specifications. On these three dots, just click on 
and the primary key table is going to be department because the primary key is department. The, the column of the primary key is called department ID and the foreign key table is going to be employee and this belongs to department ID. So the primary key on the department table is a foreign key in the department ID column of the employee table. Just go and click OK. And this is the name. You can change it if you want. We can just add here department ID. Department. Okay, just like this. Enforce for replication. Enforce. Okay, close and just save. Save employee. Yes. Okay, great. Just go on the refresh. As you can see here in uh, keys, you can see primary key department. This is a foreign key. Okay, so to add a foreign keys, uh, this is called the primary key and this is called, this table is called the parent table. The table where the foreign key is, is called the child table. In this case, the child table is the employee. The parent table is department. To create a foreign key between two tables, the column must be of the same of the same data type. As you can see, department ID is int and the depart and the column department ID in the child table is also an int. Okay. There can only be one a primary key in uh, each table to add a constraint, a foreign key constraint on the table by query. So let me just paste. Okay. Okay. This is the syntax. We just have to go on alter table because the table is already existent. It already exists. So we just have to go on alter table. The keyword is add constraint, the name of the constraint that we want to create, foreign key, because this is going to be a foreign key, department ID. This belongs to this column here, department ID. References, the table that it references, department. This is going to be the table that references, and the foreign key is going to be on this table, so department ID because we are uh, altering employee on delete cascade, on update cascade, but this is not necessary. So we just have to go on alter table, add constraint, the name of the constraint that we are adding, foreign key keyword on which column is going to be a foreign key, department ID, which this is the department ID that we see here. And the references, the table that it references, department. And this is the column. But this already exists, so we don't have to do this. Okay, now um, let me tell you that when we enter, we are going to edit top 200 rows. Okay, let's go one, and the department name is going to be, okay, it's going to be, informatics okay and if you go here edit top 200 rows we are going to enter a new employee her name is going to be Mary Smith email we can go in Mary Smith at gmail.com and phone number is going to be three four five zero. Okay. If you go here, okay, it says that we cannot insert the null into department ID because it is not nullable on the higher date also. So the higher date just uh, let me um, just let me create a date. Okay, and the department ID. If I go on here and uh, 
put on department ID 4, it says error message. The insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint uh, employee department department ID. The conflict occurred in database department ID. This is saying that this ID does not exist in the table department. So you cannot create this uh, this new row, which means that when, as we stated that this is a constraint, a foreign key constraint, in this column are going to be allowed only values that already exist in this table. So in our case, only one exists in department table. So just put on one, and as you can see, our employee is already on the table. Okay, great. To see it, we just have to go and file select star from employee. This is just a select. We are going to see all the elements that are in this table. So this was everything for today's lesson where we learned how to create tables in SQL Server Management Studio. Don't forget to like this video, comment if you need anything or if you have any problems on creating tables and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making other tutorials and other videos. Thank you, bye!